Hello again, everybody. It's me, the Wombat. What's going on? I am here today with another food review. Another offering from Carl's Jr. Not a sponsor. All these people need to sponsor me. But I guess I'm helping support the workers there, right? This is the porno burger right there. See what it says? Burger porno. Oh, promo. My bad. Just want to see if you guys are paying attention, actually. Wanted to get your attention. Anyways, now that I have your attention, what I got here was what they call the California Classic. There is a place in California, and I think there might be a couple in Texas called In-N-Out Burger. In-N-Out Burger has a very good reputation for being top-notch in making their burgers. So much so that any time of the day you go buy any In-N-Out in California, I don't know about the ones in Texas, but I know any of the ones in California, almost any time of day, there is a line of cars like stretching as far as you can see. And they're turning around product pretty fast, but still it's just car after car after car because they are that good. So this is Carl's Jr.'s take on what would be considered one of the offerings, the, one of the most well-known offerings from In-N-Out, in fact, called the Double Double. This is the California Classic. It has two chunks of meat, two pieces of cheese. The bread even looks like In-N-Out, real soft. Sorry, can't see it. Real soft bread. Has lettuce, has tomato, and it has yep, some type of secret sauce. Usually it's like Usually it's like Thousand Island dressing. Sometimes it's just like mayonnaise, mustard, and pickle relish. This kind of tastes like it's mayonnaise, mustard, and pickle relish. It smells like it at least. Nice, healthy iceberg lettuce there. <laughs> you know. Anyways, I sound like I'm some type of food snob or something. Anyways, let's see how this tastes, shall we? Oh, look, there's even grilled onions in there. So, see, can you see all that, the detail of the grilled onions? All right, anyways, let's do this. A one, a two. So far, I got a taste of the dressing, the cheese, and the tomato, and the lettuce. Anyways, let's try this again. Carl's Jr. makes good burgers. I like burgers that are usually charbroiled as opposed to ones that are just kind of fried on a on a big grill or a skillet. So and it's it's a Carl's Jr. burger, charbroiled. That part's pretty good. It's not quite as good as an In-N-Out. They do something with the seasonings of the meat at In-N-Out. This is good for a Carl's Jr. burger. Again, it's charbroiled, and then the, the sauce they put on here is really good, and then the lettuce. You know, it's not going to replace In-N-Out, but it is a nice lower-cost alternative. So, there you go. Anyways, if you have a Carl's Jr. or Hardee's by you, check out the California Classic. Let me know what you think of it. Again, got a mess on my face here. If you like this video... Please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and I will see you guys real soon. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Make sure you put comments if you've had this before and your, your thoughts. All right. See you later. Bye-bye.